All right, guys, Automotive Garage, and we're down here at, at Parker's Satellite Campus again. And today we're having a 7-3 mod day, or fix all the stuff that's wrong with your 7-3 now. <laughs> <laughs> Parker's got four inch turbo back exhaust with a muffler. Wow, wow. And uh, got the hydro tuner that you got from uh, Full Force already tuned. And then on my truck, we're gonna do the thermostat housing because mine's been leaking. So we got the XDP thermostat housing. We got the overboost and eyeliner so I don't get the code and defuel uh, when I overboost. And to fix my quarter tank issue, we got the XDP uh, mini sump. This is just to drill a half inch hole, an inch and a half hole, sorry, instead of the two and a half inch hole. Got our new gasket, got our fuel line. So we're gonna get busy doing all this stuff today, take y'all along with us. And uh, I guess we'll get a little before sound of Parker's truck with the stock exhaust and uh, see how big a difference it is, so y'all can see. So y'all stick along with us. Sure is quiet. Give it a rev. So another interesting fact, this is an O2, correct? Yep. With how many miles? 179. So this is a 179 mile truck with no mods done to it at all, bone stock still. So it's kind of interesting, it's kind of a, a diamond, I guess, you would say. Anyways, so Parker gets to do all the mods to it for the first time. So the easiest way I've always found to do this is to cut right here behind the muffler, then you can work out your over the axle part real easy, and then cut right in front of your transmission cross member and you can get the downpipe done really easy. So then you have this huge long section, pulls right out, downpipe works out easy, over the axle works out easy. We got the big section off. We're gonna take the tailpipe section off here and unbolt our downpipe and take it off and we got all the exhaust off and then we're gonna go back with new. All right, so now we're taking our downpipe off, which is that little bolt band clamp right there. And then we work it out from the bottom. Uh, well, it's, it may not slide over that lip on the downpipe if you don't. We got our band clamp off. And you'll loosen that bolt and that thing a lot of times will be rusted on there really good, especially if you're up north or if it's like this truck's 20 years old, never been took off. So loosen it up, take your bolt all the way out and then let somebody else get under the truck, which is why I cut the down pipe where it is to take it off and just shake it. It'll bust that band clamp loose real easy instead of having to get up here and tap on it with a hammer and everything else. That's the easiest way to uh, do that. All right, down pipe going in. It's a little bit of a, uh, contortionist trick to get it up in there. <laughs> it's tight. <laughs> yeah, it is. Tight. Yep. All right, we got it all on. We're gonna turn that hanger right there. We're gonna weld our hanger on right here behind the muffler. We gotta tighten up to the bottom of our downpipe and then make sure the downpipe's made it up real good to the turbo and finish tightening it up. And we'll be done with the exhaust. And we welded one, we welded two joints right here on the straight part, because they'll never need to be undone. And his muffler's clamped, so he can always delete his muffler. All right, all done with the exhaust. Everything's tight. Wadded our hangers on, wadded that hanger there, and wadded the hanger back there behind the muffler. Everything's straight. He got his exhaust pointed out where he wants it. 
So he can add him a tip later, right here out the back. So now we're gonna move on to putting the hydro tuner on. So taking the PCM out, you just got two seven millimeters, one here, and that one right there. And you got a 10 millimeter, and your, your other 10 millimeter, the 10 millimeter right, right there on this black block right down there. What are you doing now, partner? Splitting this apart. So we can clean it up and then stick our hydrogen. Proudly made in the US of A. So what you do is you're cleaning that, that plug there because that's where your hydra plugs in right there. And then your other cord that goes to the actual part that you change the tune on plugs in right there. So that is your hydra installed right there. Plugged into the PCM. This is your USB cable to be able to hook to your computer. If you ever want to change, add tunes, whatever, right there. So now we're gonna put the cover back on. So now Parker's gonna notch his plastic box that goes over the PCM clearance for this and you can remove it then without taking the PCM back out of the truck if you ever need it to. Alright, we got it all mounted up in there. Notched our box for the PCM. We got our USB tucked up there. Routed our ribbon cable. Mounted our hydro right there. PCM is hooked back up. Parker's hooking his batteries up. We're gonna see what it sounds like. Ain't much louder with that muffler on it. It ain't much louder. <laughs> All right, we're done with Parker's truck. He's amazed at how fast it is. He said it's a rocket ship now, a 7.3 rocket ship. Race truck. Race truck, that's what Gary would say. Um, but no, it's it's nice. I think he kind of wishes he hadn't put the muffler on it, right? <clears throat> Just a little bit louder, not much. So what we're getting ready to do now we're going to drop the skid plate on my tank and go on and drill the little pilot hole with the hole saw and get to draining. Uh, it's probably in the ballpark of about 10 gallons in my tank. And uh, let that drain. We're going to put the thermostat housing on and do the overboost annihilator on it. located our spot to put the sump. This is the lowest portion of the tank. I always put them right here where this circle is in the bottom of the tank. that housing now we're taking the clamp off we're just going to turn this radiator hose up i'm hoping i'm not going to lose much coolant i do have coolant to replace it but just for the sake of not making a mess that's what we're going to try to do you somehow a clean 7-3 looks under here yeah, I like that. <laughs> all right. where's all your oil everywhere it's in the motor oh. i keep mine in the motor too bad. Parker, I think that's an eight millimeter. Hey Parker, what are you doing? 
cleaning up your mess, man. This is what happens when you get distracted and you got too many things going on is you forget that you have a five gallon bucket filling up with diesel out of your tank. So it's good to have a friend with a whole bag of oil dry. All right, we got our new male, or however you say that. How do you say it, male? Molly. Molly. <laughs> Anyways, our thermostat gasket. So we got that. We got our XDP thermostat housing, and we're going back home. We cleaned our surface all up. I'm keeping my thermostat in here. There's nothing wrong with it. I didn't see any need in replacing it. So we're going back with that. You can see what I'm doing. Did you pick that bolt up or is it still back there? It's still back there. All right, we're talking to 110 inch pounds, 11 foot pounds on the thermostat housing. And I'm already at it. So that's got that. I'll hook this hose back up. These are high quality pliers. Probably the good ones made in China. Yeah. All right, let's cut that. All right, we're gonna put the, the boost fuller, boost annihilator, whatever you wanna call it on here now. So we gotta unhook our map sensor. We're gonna unhook the line from the manifold, spider, if you will. from the map sensor. My hands are coated in diesel fuel. Now. So are we following the directions, Parker? No. We're not following the directions because the directions are saying to do one thing and their picture shows another. And I like what the picture shows better. So we're using this stud that actually holds the map sensor bracket on here. I like that better than sticking this in between here and cutting on the, just the, squeezing it in between there. I think it looks better. Now, I need the uh, boost filler. Raising pliers again. It's plastic. I'm not going to go any tighter than that. The short line goes back to your map sensor. Hey, could you hand me a normal man's pliers? Uh, we don't have any down here. You don't have? <laughs> uh -uh. You're full of it. We're hooking the long line back to the spider here. And I did cut about six inches off of it. It was a little extra long. All right, that's hooked up. That's hooked up. Plugging this back up. Locking tab, and that's it. That's how you put a boost filler on. That easy, folks. feels good drilling a hole in a gas tank. I don't feel any pieces in my tank like usual.
All right, we got our sump in, installed. We got the 10 gallons back in it that was in the tank. No leaks, it's just water dripping from the bed. Ran our hose here. Ran along the frame rail. We reduced down to three eighths right here. This is half inch, got an adapter in the middle, down to three eighths. So then we come up here and we went back to our factory pump right there. Double clamp, fuel injector line clamp right there. So now we're gonna fire up and see how all this stuff works. All right guys, it's Automatic Garage signing out. Hope you enjoyed the video on doing some 7.3 maintenance mods, so to say. Uh, I'm gonna leave the skid plate off my truck for a day or two just to double check that sump on leaking. Uh, Parker's got a tune now, he's got exhaust, and we got one hell of a mess to clean up all over the floor here. So uh, check us out at automaticgarage.com, Facebook, Instagram, and on Rumble now. We have more videos coming. It's Automatic Garage signing out.